Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I will be talking about the new work order experience, which is currently in preview. We have a new view, we have a couple of new forms, and a completely different look on the work order forms as well. So check it out, I'll be right back. So let's start with the work order view that is part of this improved work order experience. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to just going to go and find my work orders preview view. And there doesn't seem to be anything special about this, right? This is just a view with some information on here. So what you'll need to do is click here on this little ellipse and then you're going to click here on show as and then you're going to click here on this work order list preview. So that's really what's going to allow you to, to see uh, those, those updates, so to speak, right? So you can kind of see here that this looks a little bit like that PCF control that we're already familiar with, right? But it does have some different functionality as, as well. So you can see here that I can just go ahead and edit in view some of these statuses and you can also see that it kind of shows me those colors uh, but what's different here is that we have this little pop-up button this basically means that i'm going to be able to view details about this work order in a side pane so if i click on that let's just give it a second here you're going to see a side pane there you go on the right opening up with some details uh, from this work order right now this is actually also a new form there are two new forms and one of them is this side pane view and the name of that form if you want to take a look at that is the work order light preview form so um, that is actually a main form and i'm sure that once that actually does go ga that we can start like modifying that form as well right put your own fields on there your own relationships etc so you can see here some information on here regarding that uh, work order status priority account information right trade incident type summary some promised windows i can see here who the contact is at that service account location information and asset information as well but what i think is really cool is that we have this booking section and depending on the status of the work order, you're gonna see different, different information. So this one is unscheduled. So if I click here on booking, it's actually gonna show me some booking suggestions. So I can go ahead and click on book directly from within here and then book, right? Create that booking for this work order. If I don't wanna do that, I can also click here on find availability and I believe that is just gonna pull up my scheduling assistant. Let me give it a second here. Yep, it is actually loading the scheduling assistant and then I can just go ahead, there we go. And I can just go ahead and start scheduling directly from within here, right? I can just change this to the schedule board so I can have some availability here as well. So that's pretty cool, right? That you can now do that directly from that work order. Now let's take a look at a scheduled work order. Again, I'm going to click on this little icon and you're going to see that we can actually have multiple work orders open in this side pane, right? I can just go back and forth between those work orders, but this one is scheduled. So now let's take a look when we click on booking, right? It's going to give me different types different type of information, right? You're gonna see details regarding the resource that's been booked for this work order. So you can see the date and time of the booking and the duration of the booking. I can also go ahead and rebook from here. If I click here on this, these three little dots, you can see I can move it, I can delete it, or I can just go ahead and open that booking. And then lastly, let's now take a look at the completed work order. Again, I'm gonna click this little icon which should open this again in my side pane right now i have three open as you can see and now let's take a look 
at the booking section. Oops, again, I think I opened it all the way up by mistake. Let's try to do that again. Because we're going to see different information now because this work order was actually completed. Let's click here on booking right so now we're going to see the the summary related to that completed work and i actually i really like how this is visualized right i can see when the service was performed any resolutions that were provided products and services total cost that's not populated here for whatever reason the estimated versus the actual pricing the duration and if i want to go ahead and find availability schedule again I can do that from here as well. And then look, if I click on here, I can even get to the service report. When you click on this, this is actually gonna take you to that reporting form of that booking. I can actually show you that. Let me just go ahead and click on that. Yep, there's a little issue with the script there. And then this is that reporting form, right? This is pulling up that PCF control and showing me information about this particular booking. Now I mentioned there are two new forms and there's also a, a form that if I actually open up this work order, let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Let me close the side pane here. And you're gonna have to actually select this work order preview form. That's the second new form here for work orders that we can also take a look at. So again, depending on the status of that work order, you're gonna see different types of information, right? Just like you saw on the side pane. So this one is scheduled, so it's giving me information uh, about, right, whoever is assigned to this particular booking. Then if I go back to work orders, and let me just go ahead and open a completed work order, you're gonna see, let's just go ahead and open this guy. You're gonna see in this summary, right? Now you're gonna see information about that completed booking, just like we saw earlier in the side pane. Now, I also noticed that there's a section here for assets. And as you can see, my primary asset is HVAC unit one. And if I hover over that, it's gonna show me the location, it's gonna show me the account it belongs to and the product as well. And then if I click here to expand this, it is also showing me the sub assets as well. Now, if you want to edit that field, let's say we don't want this to be uh, the primary asset, then you're going to see some other things, right? From products and services, we have this AC dual run capacitor. And then here I have my AC exhaust hose, my hourly service fee. Um, so you can see all of that as well. Let's just unit one let's just put that back right i'm going to select that i'm going to say okay and that brings me back here to this screen uh directly showing me all of that asset information now some other things i wanted to highlight here product and services this is a really nice visual right so i can see all the services i can see the status of them and look at that if i click here on this little side pane icon again it's going to pull up right that particular record in a side pane and i can go ahead and i can make changes to it and then i can just save that same thing with uh, products as well right this is showing me what type of products these are uh, the estimated quantity and then this is the status is what i'm guessing i can't really see that because of my oh this card changes yep let's just go ahead and collapse that right so the stat is over here as well and again the ability to kind of pop that out in that side pane and then we have the tasks obviously related to this work order right so again I can see which ones are complete incomplete here's even an inspection that I have and then again I'm going to be able to kind of pull that out pop that out I should say in the side pane just like we could uh, with the other ones as well and then when we click on reference this is going to show you right any knowledge articles that are related to this work order uh, you can also use this guides from tasks right so if you want to add that and then some media so if you have any pictures or anything uh, that's related to this work order you're going to be able to uh, to view that from here as well so 
I really love these new improvements. I think it looks a lot cleaner, right? And it looks really fresh to me as well. So hopefully uh, we, can, uh, we can start using this pretty soon. And I'm hoping you like these new improvements as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.